I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Hello friends. In this series, we last learned about solving Cauchy-Euler equations. Now we are going to learn how to solve the Legendre linear differential equation. Here we have the differential equation x plus 1 the whole square d square y by dx square plus x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 4. Now the question is how do we identify if the equation is of Legender linear differential equation. In Legender linear differential equation, dy by dx term will have ax plus b as linear function of first degree, d square y by dx square term will have ax plus b the whole square as linear function of second degree, and similarly d cube y by dx cube term will have ax plus b the whole cube as linear function of third degree. This is how we identify a given equation is of the form Legendre linear differential equation. Here in this question, dy by dx will have linear function x plus 1 of first degree, d square y by dx square will have linear function of x plus 1 of degree 2. Therefore, the given equation is of the form Legendre linear differential equation. Now we can write x plus 1 the whole square d square by dx square as x plus 1 the whole square d square plus x plus 1 d by dx can be written in the form x plus 1 into d into y is equal to 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 4. After identifying the equation is of the Legender linear differential equation, we just put e raised to z for the linear function x plus 1 and z is equal to log x plus 1. From x plus 1 is equal to e raised to z, we get x is equal to e raised to z minus 1. Replace x plus 1 d by dx with d dash. Replace x plus 1 the whole square d square by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1. Now in LHS of the question, we replace x plus 1 the whole square d square as d dash into d dash minus 1. And we replace x plus 1 into d as d dash into y is equal to in the RHS 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 4 we replace x with e raised to z minus 1 then we get 2 into e raised to z minus 1 plus 3 into 2 into x is replaced with e raised to z minus 1 plus 4. d dash is multiplied with d dash minus 1, then we get d dash square minus d dash plus d dash into y is equal to 2 e raised to z minus 2 plus 3 into 2 e raised to z minus 2 plus 4. Here minus d dash plus d dash becomes 0. Then we get d dash square into y is equal to 2 e raised to e z plus 1 into 2 e raised to e z plus 2. That is equal to d dash square into y is equal to 2 e raised to z plus 1 is multiplied with 2 e raised to z plus 2. Then we get 
4 e raised to 2 z plus 4 e raised to z plus 2 e raised to z plus 2 that is equal to d dash square into y is equal to 4 e raised to 2 z plus 6 e raised to z plus 2. Now we need to find the solution of y. y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d dash square into y is equal to 4 e raised to 2 z plus 6 e raised to z plus 2. For finding the auxiliary equation we only need to substitute a variable instead of d dash. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m square is equal to 0. m square is equal to 0 can be written in the form m is equal to 0 and m is equal to 0. Here the roots are real and identical. Therefore to find the complementary function we use the formula c1 e raised to m1 z plus c2 z e raised to m2 z. Substitute the roots m is equal to 0 in the formula. We get the complementary function as c1 e raised to 0 z plus c2 z e raised to 0 z. That is equal to c1 plus c2 z. Now we need to find the particular integral of d dash square into y is equal to 4 e raised to 2 z plus 6 e raised to z plus 2. Now the particular integral 1 is equal to 1 by d dash square into 4 e raised to 2 z. Here the coefficient of z in e raised to 2 z is 2 and replace d dash square with 2 square then we get 1 by 4 into 4 e raised to 2 z that is equal to e raised to 2 z now the particular integral 2 is equal to 1 by d dash square into 6 e raised to z here the coefficient of z in the exponential function e raised to z is 1 and replace d dash square in the denominator with coefficient of z in the e raised to z. Then we get the particular integral 2 as 6 e raised to z. Now the particular integral 3 is equal to 1 by d dash square into 2 that is equal to 1 by d dash square into 2 can be written in the form 2 e raised to 0 z. Here the coefficient of z in the exponential function e raised to 0 z is 0 and replace d dash square in the denominator with 0 then we get the denominator as 0 which makes an indeterminate form. Therefore, the ordinary rule fails. Whenever the ordinary rule fails, we switch to another method. That is, we multiply the numerator with z and differentiate the denominator. Here, the derivative of d dash square is 2d dash into 2 into e raised to 0 z. Here, the coefficient of z in the exponential function e raised to 0 z is 0 and replace d dash in the denominator with 0 then we get the denominator as 0 which makes indeterminate form therefore the ordinary rule fails we again multiply the numerator with z then the numerator becomes z square and differentiate the denominator here the derivative of denominator 2d dash is 2 into 2 e raised to 0 z cancelling 2's then we get the particular integral 3 as z square 
Therefore, the solution of y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2 plus particular integral 3. Here the complementary function is c1 plus c2 z and the particular integral 1 is e raised to 2 z and particular 2 is 6 e raised to z and particular integral 3 is z square. Therefore, the solution of y is equal to c1 plus c2 z plus particular integral 1 is e raised to 2 z plus particular integral 2 is 6 e raised to z plus z square. Therefore, y is equal to c1 plus c2 into we know that z is equal to log x plus 1 plus we know that e raised to z is equal to 1 plus x then e raised to 2 z becomes e raised to z the whole square e raised to z the whole square can be written in the form 1 plus x whole square plus 6 into e raised to z is 1 plus x plus z is log x therefore z square becomes log x the whole square. Hello.